Sprint Super Formula at Suzuka. Here we go, time again for Daily Race C. And this week for Daily Race C, we've got the Japanese Super Formula going around Suzuka. And we've got the Racing Soft Tire, 2 times Fuel, 3 times Tire, and BOP. So, yeah, Japanese Super Formula, formerly known as Formula Nippon, Japanese Formula Nippon, if I remember rightly, which is kind of like the equivalent to British Formula 3. I believe the likes of Ralph Schumacher and Ralph Furman, former Formula 1 drivers, did in fact compete in Japanese Formula Nippon back in the day on their way into Formula 1. So like Daily Race B, I've done it a few times already just to sort of try to get my bearings of it. Bit of a difference going from a Group 3 car to a Japanese Super Formula and most definitely a difference going to Japanese Super Formula from good old Tesla. Also a few people around the place saying this race is uh, quite chaotic. So we'll see what goes on then in this Daily Race here today. We've done a few laps, a bit feisty, the Japanese Super Formula. We'll get ourselves in then and we'll see what the racing is going to deliver today. Right on the grid in P13. Right, so out of the way we go at Suzuka. Run it down to the first corner. Get ourselves through like that. Look for the inside there. Go for the apex there. Just sort of picking the spot there and going for it. Getting ourselves through there. Watch out there as we get ourselves into the S's then for the first time in this one. Oh, and cars going off there. There's two off there to the right-hand side of us there. Four second time penalty. So something there definitely going on off the start line then. Round the S's and up the hill then P6. Bit of breathing space behind us then to take our time going through the first Degna here. Into Degna 2 and a car off there again to the left of us there. So yeah, rather chaotic-ish start then to this one then. By the look of it there is another car spinning off behind us. Hopefully things will start to settle down a little bit now and we'll sort of get into the race and see where it goes from here. We've also got some power, some boost, kind of like Urs in Formula 1, the uh, ERS, whatever it's called. Well, at the final corner and on to lap 2 and yeah P13 to P5 so let's keep going. We have got a pit stop to make in this race as well so we'll gauge the tyre wear, the 3 times tyre wear as the race unfolds. Into the hairpin then at 3.5 clear of the car behind us then. Try to get onto the back of the cars in front then. There's P4 at 2.3 at the minute. And a bit more of this, yeah, like Urs uh, energy going down towards 130R. 130R, blinking, you miss it. To the chicane then at the end of the lap. That one there and that one there. Out to the apex. Yeah, lap three, P5. Holding stations then in P5. 2.8 clear of the car behind us now. So maintaining the gap there, averaging three seconds or so. So not so bad so far. Likewise, the gap in front of us as well just sort of hovering there isn't it around three seconds Marshall's was there waving yellow flags that's why car off in front of us on a bit cumbersome there through the degnus there allowing us there to go through and take p4 ourselves now right into p4 then keep going race leader getting away a little bit there p2 p3 3.3 clear now i want to lap four pulling out two and a half there on the car behind in p5 pit stop i haven't thought about it probably say halfway or something like that just sort of see how we get on see how the race goes not really noticing the tires at the moment so I'm able to just pull it through the degnas so yeah i'd say probably about oh, hang on oh and that's going to cost us a little bit of time there yeah as done there pretty much oh no wiping out our two and a half second lead there on the cars behind oh dear they're going to go around the outside and there they go into P4. Right, we'll try not to do that again or something similar to that again. Got a cumbersome spoon corner there. It's going to allow the other Japanese Super Formula to go through. And there they go into P5. Just going to go on the outside there for the chicane. P5 there on the defence there into the chicane. Oh, lap 5 then. A bit of minor self-destruction on that previous lap time now to regain our composure getting ourselves back in the rhythm here back in the groove stick on the back of the two cars in front then they look as though they're going to go for it now p4 p5 there much more tidier deckness there that time p4 p5 then side by side going through into the head and now p4 they're defending that position quite fiercely there or what p4 they're getting the undercut there to take the place back got the car behind closing ever so slightly there so just keep it going for now sort of dropping back a little bit now on the two cars in front there 2.3 on to lap six then in p six ourselves then yeah got a couple of pit stops now taking place behind us then in the race hey so when the cars in front are going to pit and we can maybe stay out a couple of laps longer and try to get in front of them at the pit stops we'll have to see although we are making inroads here but 1.6 now to that 
car in front, using up the energy we've got, the, the power boost thing, as and when, keep ourselves in contention of the car in front. Now we've got one, two, three pit stops then in front of us there, car going in there ahead of us. So four pit stops then, start of lap seven, going up to P2 now. Let's sort of see if we can really try to nail this lap and then take our pit stop at the end of it and try to jump at least one place. Yeah, just sort of feeling the tyres a little bit now going through the S's. Not quite flat through there that time. I do think this lap we're going to make a pit stop. Right, a bit more boost down here then. I'd say P4, P5 after the pit stop. Race leader now taking their pit stop now. Get ourselves hard on the brakes for the chicane here. Keep right. Here we go. Oh, but I've got a penalty. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Well, I've crossed the pit line somewhere. But well, it is what it is. I think in this race, you can pretty much catch back up pretty quick with uh, penalties and whatnot. Come out in P8 then, so not so bad then after that pit stop. The inside then a piece of there. Having a bit of a look there. Although not really worth fighting these guys at the moment then if we're going to drop back by three seconds. Sort of keep our foot down a little bit to sort of try to maintain the gap to the car behind. So don't drop back too much. Right, I don't think... Well, let's have a look. I got through there, carrying on in P8 then. Bit of a place there to have the uh, the time penalty line. Just as somebody catches you on 130R as you're getting back up to speed. Still lap 9, and here we are in P8 now. And now trying to get back onto the back of the cars in front then. The tyres are quite fresh as well, so should be alright. One of them there just going off in front of us there. Less work to do then to get onto the back of one of them at least. Or sort of looking there though at the car behind just under one second now that we could be under attack at some point very very soon here at this rate bit of power boost onto lap 10 trying to stay in front to the first corner and there they are committing down the inside one of those you're going to decide if we're going to crash or not so down to p8 then a the nice gap there with 11.8 11.9 there back to the car behind looking as though then stay with these guys until the end and see what we can do well we've got just over two laps to to go then to try and do our thing and try to make something happen starting the first of those two remaining laps now lap 11 p8 about a quarter of the boost left as well so we can use that as well to keep within touching distance bit of a battle there in front of us now starting to ensue between p6 and p7 sort of get ourselves poised to pick up the pieces if there are any well, i got myself a time penalty there when oh, that's just sort of oh oh yeah well, I somehow managed to cut the corner on the way up to Spoon Corner and uh, and then go and do that. I think just drive over on this final lap then. Here we are then, P8, onto the final lap. Oh, it looks as though the other flags are out. Lots of smoke ahead of us. A bit of a coming together there between the two cars in front of us there at the start of the final lap. Out they go then. So that's P7. Oh, and there's P6 as well. Got a chance here on this final lap then of going into the top six again. Looks as though we are indeed picking up the pieces off that altercation. Now, I'm not quite sure if I poised it. P6. We'll empty out the rest of our energy. And yeah, just run it to the line. Into the chicane. That's it. Just get it through there. Right. So run to the finish line. P13 to P7. Oh, there we are. Not so bad then, P8. Although a couple of errors there on our part in that race. So we'll try to iron those out in time for the next one. And yeah, I think first corner in particular, first lap, get yourself in the right place at the right time. And then just take the race on from there. But for the most part, it's not so bad. But yeah, sort of seeing why some people may say that the race can be or is a bit chaotic. So we'll see how it goes in the next race. And as ever, if you do happen to enjoy my pretty average driving at best on the GT7, do like and subscribe, really do appreciate it. And if you do enjoy the Japanese Super Formula action here today at Suzuka, do let me know by dropping a like on the video and hit the bell for notifications. Just so you know, when I upload new videos, to be spinning out and crashing everywhere on GT7. Right, not enough time here to do a lap. In that case then, we'll get back in. Here we go then, in P12. Foot to the floor, away we go. 
bit of power deployment then off the line into the first corner here we go again same old as before keeping ourselves to ourselves it's watching what's going on around us oh and there's one two myself they're going off there three of us they're just going off there at the first corner oh and well yeah we'll just take that maybe a bit of ramming there going on so yeah we'll just we'll, we'll take it and carry on oh, the car they're going very very slow they've just been tipped around there by p11 as well there all right just sort of try to spy the first lap of this one then here we are in p12 then eyes out for the hairpin then car behind us there just closing there onto the back of the car in front of us there then just work it round and then yeah we'll take the penalty and the race will start from there. Let's watch it here on P11 there that want to take them out on the way to the penalty line. Right then, the race starts now. And we're starting off in P13. Yeah, the flag's there, 130R. Two cars going off there. So straight back into P11 then as we get into the chicane at the end of the first lap. Right, lap two then, P11. Get on now, see how we get on. Yeah, the flag's are out there, but nobody's gone off. Keep our foot down, keep going. Oh, hang on a minute, a car has gone off there by the look of it. That's P10, just sort of going off there a little bit there. At the top of the hill, coming out the S. Is. Right then, try to get through then on the P10 at some point. Get this energy deployment thing going then. To the chicane at the end of that two then. That one there. Yeah, that one there. Oh, bit of aggression through the chicane. Onto lap three. Lap three, P11. There we are, just over a second then behind the car in front then. Really use the grip of the racing soft tyres and the... The grip of the Japanese Super Formula. Ah, got a little bit dangerously sometimes. Has to be done. Costa's there a little bit to the car in front, but not so bad. Let's just keep going. More the car behind than bothered about, really, at the moment there. Closing into half a second. Keep an eye out for them. More than likely, they're going to go for it down here towards 130R. Bit of energy. Sort of countering it a little bit there. Running down towards 130R. Just sort of let them there take the corner through 130R. Then onto the defensive, going into the chicane. And just sticking behind there. Trying to get a drive around the chicane onto the back of the car now stay with them onto the start of lap four we want to move here possibly into the first corner on the outside yeah just stay behind it for now very very quick suzuka on the first corner i'm not quite mr raikkonen oh and the car off there and a car off there as well they were coming together there between the two of them there it's going to bump us up there into p10 now but well, i believe it was raikkonen with the uh, last first challenge in uh super that year was it 2005 six pressing on in p10 think about races like this because of the how long they are anything can really happen just keep going and you never know you get a time penalty at the start Finish the race on the podium. Can happen. Got a flag at the chicane. And that's another car off there. Going through to P9 then. Starts at lap 5. Oh, just caught it there on the apex there with the S's. And that's going to cost us there quite a bit of speed going through there. Come on, Japanese Super Formula. Well, it looks as though P8 then. Getting onto the back of P8 now. Going through the hairpin there. Well, I've just got half of my uh, power energy left now and we'll see if p8 is going to make a good stop now coming out the chicane at end of lap five yep in they go another one there in front of us there making a pit stop as well then onto lap six then going into p8 and one there just in front leaving the pit lane now they're going to have pressure tires on us so we'll have to see how quickly they're going to pull away from us but we could still make inroads on them though the tires are still feeling not so bad a bit of power boost up towards the hairpin working more to stay in front of the car behind so far working out then at 1.8 seconds or oh, a bit on the white line there going through 130R. Just felt it there just before the corner. Don't want to be doing that. We've got two more pit stops there in front of us. So that's going to bump us up then. A couple more places then by the look of it. Lap 7 will stay out a bit longer. Now go to P4 with the cars in front then making their pit stops. And again trying to nail the in lap. I think I'm going to make the stop again. At the end of this lap, thread the needle, get aggressive with it but not too much. And then we'll see where we come out after our pit stop. Just keep our foot down through 130R. On the brakes for the chicane and into the pit lane. Right, fresh set off the racing soft tyre. And P11 then, after that pit stop then. We are right with the cars in front there. There, oh. Well, we were with the cars in front there. That's what happens, folks, when you get on the white line. Slick tyres, it just pretty much sends you round. Right, not to worry, though. We'll do what we can. We'll try our very best to get ourselves back in contention then with the cars in front. We've got fresh tyres, so keep our foot down. And we'll definitely, as I say, see what we can do. And that's one of them there, just going off there. We had a spoon corner, so got a chance here at one of them then. Right, lap nine then. And here we are in P11 then. Oh, a car off there as 
well. Are they going to unghost? I'll just keep going. Just sort of thinking that I've got to unghost right on the apex there of the acid. We've got to cause a bit of a problem. We got through and now into P10. Hot pursuit now at P9. Seem to be pushing the same pace as at the moment then. So gap not really going anywhere. I'll have to think outside the box then. Try and get that gap closed down. But we've got uh, well, we've got three and a bit laps to do it. So blue flag's out going on there. We're not that far behind, surely. Yeah, we're not that far behind. <laughs> Lap 10. P10. Sort of take little chunks here and there. Little bits here and there off that gap. Try and whittle it down. Oh, but I've got no energy left. Well, not sure how much energy the car in front's got left either. Oh, we've got two laps to go now. There or thereabouts. Lap 11. Just there, isn't it? One and a half seconds. I'm not quite sure it's going to happen to be there. Not unless they crash out, but you know, we'll keep going. Getting close to ever so slightly there to P9, the first sector of this penultimate lap then. Car off there, just on the run down to 130R there. Well, they're going to unghost there, right in front of us here, towards the 130R. Just about keep flat there through 130R. They want to lunge there, from the car behind and a lunge as well for the other car as well. Both going through there, dropping us down to P11. Pit stop there, it starts the final lap, putting us down to P10. Oh, and that's very sideways there, from P9. Still got some racing left then, by the look of it. On this final lap, trying to see what we can do then with P9 and what's left of this uh, Japanese Super Formula race here today. I think unless they fall off the road, I think we're pretty much set in stone now, aren't we, in P10. And we're only, what, 40-odd seconds or so behind the race leader there, so not so bad. Here we are, into the chicane for the final time. Yep, just about gets slowed down in time. Get through, no issue. And over the finish line in P10. Ah, oh, there we are then, Japanese Super Formula. Yeah, a bit chaotic, this one, I'd say. First couple of corners, first lap in general. Just get yourself in the right place at the right time. And then just take it on from there. But races like this, anything can happen. You can be last at the end of the first lap and finish on the podium. It's one of those. Good racing then, end of the day. And now we'll get on to manufacturers. The final round of the manufacturers at the Circuit of Catalonia this Saturday. <laughs> 